today we'll be going on the most treacherous, acid trippy desert road trip you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, just give it to me. Look at that, that's it, that's it, that's it, hey, stop, friend, stop! You are your bitch, you're f All we have for survival is a van, a woman, a ton of booze, and a gaggle of stoner underlings. We're 40 miles from civilization now, and we're gonna be moving further and further away from it as we descend into the desert. 24 hours in this godforsaken desert. You guys are gonna try to get some towny chicks. Yep. At Baker. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be easier than getting a tourist chick who just wants a cappuccino, because that's impossible for you guys. Yeah. This has to be one of the worst mobile home parks in all of California. Based on location. You think these people are surviving working, uh, I don't know, in the fields, or is it more of like a drug? Oh yeah, there's a lot of agriculture in Baker. This is the community center. I see a lot of potential, Leandro. They gotta sweep away the asbestos. What's up, guys? How are you? You guys have a young mother by any chance? They seem like they would. So, uh, miss, are you, um, is there a mister in the household? No. No? Wow, single mom just raising? Yeah, yeah he is here, but he's working. Oh, he's oh, working, wow, okay. Wow. You know, in case you wanna, you know, <laughs> climb the socioeconomic ladder a little bit. Confucius! Confucius, come over here. Um, hey guys, Danny here. Leo and I thought it'd be easier for Fez to attract a townie if we lied and said he was related to a famous philosopher. You know Confucius? Well, this is Confucius' great, 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 times a thousand grandson of Confucius. Confucius. Like you know, sometimes he has to take five and meditate. I think I see that coming on. Oh, yeah, no. here he goes. He's got to take five and meditate sometimes. He's his flexibility. He's, he's been meditating every day since he was two. Absolutely. But he still has trouble hitting that Indian pose. Yeah, he's been doing it for so long and you'd think he'd have the flexibility by, by now, but no, not yet. He can't crisscross applesauce. Not yet. No. Right. You know, it's funny, the concentration that he gets into when he meditates, it's amazing. Sometimes, I, you know, children can slap him on the top of the head and he won't even notice. It's good if you want to, go ahead. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, do you guys have anything to throw? You know, like a steak knife, a hammer, anything you want to let fly? <laughs> hey, stay down, Confucius, you're meditating. You're meditating. Do you have some tapatillo? You guys want to throw some tapatillo at a guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is this wrong? I'm, is this wrong? I'm well, sorry. It's a way to test his devotion to the arm, Leo. It is. It is a way to test the devotion to the arm. Go for it. Wherever. Yeah, yeah. Just give it. To he's somewhere in mainland China right now. He doesn't even know what's happening. He's, no, he's in Shanghai. I believe he's in Shanghai. I think he's in Shanghai. Oh, he better he's not be gambling. Shanghai. You think he's gambling? He's dude? gambling in Shanghai wow. again. Yeah. Would you guys mind if we go have lunch at the Mad Greek? Just leave him here. She's like, really? <laughs> He's like a lawn gnome. Think of him as a decorative ornament. By the way, he can take a lot more. Last time, a couple of people peed on him. No big deal. And you guys want to let my dog, my dog attack him? Yeah, let him guess. That's what we're looking for. Sick a dog on him. <laughs> when the kid hit him with Tapatio, dude. That's crazy. And then hit me in the head. Thank you, Danny. I didn't do it. A little kid did it. Take it up with him, dude. Wait, yeah, Confucius, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to be above petty anger. Yeah. You're supposed to be enlightened. You're coming at me the sarcastic, thanks, Danny. It's not cool. What happened to you over there was completely your fault, dude. There are places you should and shouldn't meditate. Trailer park with a bunch of rogue, unsupervised children, no. Maybe not. But you insisted. Why would you do that? Oh, sure, yeah, I wanted this to happen. Dude, hey, listen, I, I love you, all right? You are unbelievably funny, though. I can't believe that you're a real human being. And I'm sorry that that happened to you. But your night's gonna get better. You know why? Because you're gonna get some pussy for the first time in your life. Oh my God. You're gonna get some pussy for the first time. For the first time. Where are the towny women? Yeah. Let's keep looking. So let's go find them. So we just got a lead from Inland Iggy that there's a prison that's been turned into some sort of shelter. Yeah, he's That's a your boyfriend. How? <laughs> oh, oh, you're lucky it's disrespectful to hit a man on his own turf. So the jail over there, you said that it's it's no longer a jail. People live there, and he said there's ghosts. 
Yeah, right now, yes. I saw sometimes on the on the night. Sometimes I see like uh, shadows or something. You you walk out uh, out the uh, the hill, and then you feel like uh, somebody saw you. Really? See, wow. Somebody wow. watching you. So. Wow, this is interesting. And the night. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Okay. We're back on our Monday at 2 p.m. upload schedule, so make sure you're subscribed. Oh, there's cute little puppies. Oh. Oh, hello. Hola. 23 years in Vegas. Wow. wow. Yeah. How much does it cost to live here? Quanto cuesta para vivir? Six hundred dollars. Wow, six hundred dollars. Three rooms and two bathrooms. Three rooms and two bathrooms. Would you like to give us a tour? Uh, oh. mm. so. Yeah, married? So it's too much. Estás oh casada? Yes. Oh, she's married. Is he still with us? ¿Cómo cómo está el marido? Está aquí? No, it's in um, San Diego. Oh, he's in San Diego. Oh, um, ask her if she's a faithful woman. So, so, uh, tienes un, uh, you know, un, un boyfriend on the side, a veces o no? <laughs> she said no. No. Tell her the the round one. Mm -hmm. How it probably smells like tapatio. Dice el que el gordito que está enfrente que huele un poco como tapatio. Hay uno que hay. Que no, porque estoy haciendo full for one party for my brother. Oh, okay. She said yeah. she's getting ready for a party for her brother. She can't really. Yeah, it's she can't mess around, can't with, mess around with, with, with the pudgy guy who smells like tapatio. Yeah, no, she can't. We're giving you 30 seconds to make your romantic pitch. Oh, I'm not doing that. Why? <laughs> See that? She loves Let's that. Let's try that again, Jeff. Let's try that again. You're making your romantic pitch in your native tongue right now. It's, it's <laughs> He asked her to dance, dude. And she said she can't dance. So you now have... My son and my daughter is in the room. Oh, come on, dude. Don't ask her to dance with her... Your son and daughter are here. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. You're making advances when the woman has children. All right. I'm not. That's right. El huele como tapatillo y tiene problemas. Es mal el tapatillo. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go look at the birria. Oh. Oh. Fez, was that something romantic you just said? Si. Que did he say? Si. Decir otra vez. Buenas noches. Oh, he said good night. Like, what the? It's kind of early to say good night. And that's not how he said it. He was like this. Bye. Buenos noches. Dude, Fez, come on, dude. You're in there with a hardcore buenas noches before, right. Right, right before she's going to go and be in a party. What are you trying to say? Are you going to visit her later tonight? Sure. Are you going to visit her later? Yeah, that's just because that's what I did, right, Danny? Am I right? <laughs> Fez with sunglasses on is scary. I can tell there's rage boiling over. Now that we're going back to old Prim, it might be a good time to introduce the crew. What up guys, it's your boy Lee Andy, and the desert has nothing on me because I'm Buffalo built. What's up guys, I'm Papa Leo, and today I'm basically a special ed teacher. My name's Inland Iggy, and I'm gonna penetrate Leo tonight for warmth. My name's Austin, and I'm going to be sleeping with a lock on my tent tonight. I'm Boss Man Danny. This van will be our office today, and there's no HR department in a van. Hey guys, it's Holly, and if these little boys behave, I might help one of them pitch a tent. My name's NBA Mike, and for my safety, I'm giving everyone the N-word pass. This cracker don't crumble. Saltine, we out. My name is Fez, and I'm gonna this story tonight. You're probably not gonna like this, Fez, but we need you right now to go into the van, cover your ears, and go la 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 la. Things are gonna go well for you today. I'm not doing nothing up. What do you mean? We just don't want you in the wind, buddy. We're gonna give Fez $20. He hasn't eaten yet, and he's been complaining all morning. I, I need to have a breakfast. I need a break. <laughs> there are three places to eat at this Chevron over yonder. There is a rip-off Chipotle, there's a Subway, and then there's just a huge selection of generic gas station food. Everybody's got a wager on what Fez is going for. Subway. He said he wants- You think he's gonna eat fresh, dude? Yeah. The shitty Chipotle, and he's getting something with 
I think gas station just stocks up on chips. All right, I got the rip off Chipotle. I'm also, I'm gambling on the racial element too. That, Ooh, yeah. damn, but I have seen him eat Subway cookies. We're gonna get food now, man. You pumped? Yes. You need money for food? There you go, buddy. You gotta, we'll go to a place oh, you can man. you can choose where to eat, buddy. Mm. The possibilities of breakfast. You might as well be lunch now. Isn't it wild, the miracles of capitalism, that out here in the middle of the dang desert, we have delectable Mexican food, and we have scrumptious Subway sandwiches, and then a positive cornucopia of gas station confections. All arrayed before your eyes. Free will, you know, whatever you want here. Whatever you want, buddy. You go for it. Wait, wait, let's rethink that. Let's think about it. Think about it. Go in here and really choose, though. You know, Subway's got a ton of carbohydrates. Yeah, and also there's uh, yoga mat material in their bread. They got sued for it. I wouldn't call it healthy. It's kind of like a thing that, that, that a, 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 an old fat pedophile used to say. Jared, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be that guy. Dude, he'll tarnish your brand if you eat like Jared. Yeah, you don't want to, yeah. Subway, I don't know about that. Dude, just, I cannot emphasize enough that you should not go to the Subway right now. Okay. I swear to God. Mm! God damn it, dude. God damn it. So let's get him a burrito. I'll be choosing most of his ingredients. Yeah, uh, I'll take the steak thing. Let's go check in. White rice. Can I get brown rice, please? Brown rice? What kind of beans do you want? Black beans. Can we get pinto beans? Cheese? Yes. No cheese. And then you want mild, hot, or spicy? No. Let's go spicy. Guacamole, Fez? No. You really don't like guacamole? Well, I think you're gonna be the opposite. Let's give him some guacamole. Oh, it's too late. The burrito sealed. You did? That was a violation of health code. <laughs> we need you to adjust your image. So I'm gonna pick out some new threads for you here. You need to be more of an edgy, extreme kind of guy. This is part of your new attitude. Okay, Fez? You know what I mean? Well, you get it? It's a dandelion pun. <laughs> say it better than that. Say it with more conviction. It's not like, Bloom. Okay, that was disturbing. <laughs> a little disturbing. Blow me. He's extreme. <laughs> His little like, ah. You know what you should do? You should make a motorbike noise after you drink it. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> He's gonna have to piss it. He's gonna have to piss like a racehorse any time now. You didn't do it. Do that. You gotta make a dirt bike noise. <laughs> that just sounded like you were taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Prism Mall, appraised at $125 million in 2012, sold last year for just $400,000. According to the Las Vegas Review Journal, this place in particular exemplifies the death of the American mall. Saltine is pretty much a rodent. He's just crawling behind boards. Fez, you next. You next, Fez. Wanna get, yeah, just go, go right ahead, through. Fez, go ahead, you're next. Right through. <laughs> yeah. Fez, follow him, you know? Get in there, keep going. No questions. Keep going, dude, what? what are you doing? You're holding up the team. Drink some of that, it'll help. <laughs> There's no way in hell you're fitting through that crack. <laughs> Let's bring him out. Fez, are you sure you don't want to give it a second try? I gotta take a f***ing wee wee. The restroom down this way? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, she's... No, no nonsense. Dude, she... That is a Soviet Union hag, yeah. dude. You can't f*** with a Soviet Union hag. So this mall, their problem is not too much filming and too much publicity. Clearly. As many YouTube jack-offs as they can get in here, the better. Ladies, did you see any stores open? Two! We're going to them! There's no way you guys are selling enough purses to justify the staff. Yeah! No! You guys dude. sell purses? Yeah! <laughs> How many in the last week? Uh, probably over a thousand. That is lies! That's, he's, just, he's covering no. for his company. Oh, sorry guys, we can't do any filming in here. Oh, wow, okay. The thrift store's gonna be down. Lit Andy, he do that little girl voice too, I think. I refuse to call him Lit Andy. Let's get lit, oh my god, yes. Yes, oh, I yeah. love that. I love that. Oh, I hate it. I don't love it at all. But drop Jed Jed, like, more than any of the other guys, if you slept in my bed, I would burn oh, the yeah. sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little pooch down here. Look at this thing. You're shaped like, you know, like, 
the Grinch, basically. You are built like the Grinch, you dude. Like the Grinch. Yeah, I, play, I play professional ping pong. Like I think like, just a crop top would be really funny. Just up here. I like it. Come on. Let's play with gender norms. Yeah. Yeah, this seems to be an honor system thrift store. Holy shit. What's up, my man? How are you? There we go. We got an employee. Looking hey, fresh as. How you guys living? He's got one AirPod in. What are you listening to? I don't know. Kind of random video about like Facebook Marketplace or something like that. Cool. See, he sells clothing that he steals from his own store. I kind of love that. A hundred percent profit. That's How perfect. That's the way to do it. Good, so you, get, you boost clothing from your store, but this is Drop Dead Jed, and we're trying to get him a top. Top. You yeah. guys are a best looking in this area. Crop over tops. Here. Crop tops, you'd be looking in this area over mm. years. And you're not just misdirecting us so you can steal more pants? <laughs> no. Nah, and sell them on Facebook Marketplace? 12 areas. Okay. You want to come with us? Uh, I think yeah, I got some stuff I have to take care of them. You're the, we're the only customers in the store. You're blowing us off? Man, I'm running around back here doing like stock stuff as well. There's no way there's any legitimate stock work because you guys don't move any stock. What are you talking about? I got all this right here. Yeah. We work on a donation program. Every pound of clothes you donate with us, you get a dollar back in store credit. What, why, what kind no, of f***ed up drug way. dealer lingo is that? You got a kilo of cargo shorts I could pick up? <laughs> all right, drop dead. Wait, look at you. Dude, you are... You're looking edgy now, Jeff. Wow. You are looking f***ing edgy. Oh, yeah. Crop top's over here. Crop top's, let's give him a crop top. Just the top for you today? Just the top. Yeah. Devin, do those guns shoot? Yes, yeah, so they're sanitation devices. Exodus shirts. I am Moses and I freed the slaves. These are available on dannymullen.com now. Yo, I'm hanging with a guy named Austin, but his mom is a hooker from Boston. Killed you with that. <laughs> Dick so small couldn't pleasure a granny. Yeah, you know that means I'm hanging out with my boy Danny. Yeah, it's Mullen. He's off the shits. The only thing he can successfully do is a kickflip. Yeah. Yo, and I'm hanging with my boy A Slosher. And his mom's a f whore. <laughs> I can't beat that. <laughs> it's called doubling down. Is it possible to pick up Derek from Anaheim when he's finished? Yeah, I'll just pull over here real quick and we'll go to Anaheim. <laughs> Do you, Fez, have any concept of geography? I don't, no. I've never been this far from California. So. We can get Dino from Anaheim if you're willing to drive probably four hours out of the way, eight hours round trip, and then for our efforts, be rewarded with a guy who just goes, gay. <laughs> gay? Anaheim is back in Los Angeles. It's further than from where we came from. I We'd have to backtrack. To make sure you learned your lesson, we're gonna try to get you on a truck scale, buddy. Yeah. A truck scale? Yeah. How's it going, gentlemen? We got a hefty crew member. He's a real pain in my tuchus. He keeps trying to get us to make a pit stop in Anaheim. Can we throw him up on one of the truck scales? No. We just want to make sure we can get over the hill. Wait, first of all, you're not at the truck scales. Right. Well, then what are these? Inspection stations. Uh, yeah. That couldn't hurt either. The scales are up there. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, you can give him an he's a truck. We're not going to inspect him. Damn it. You guys can't put a flashlight up his rectum? <laughs> Well, you lucked out, Fez. Well, do we, just for the record, I mean, after we finish with the trip. All right, so Fez, I think for the rest of this trip, you're a made man. Yeah, you made it, dude. Round of applause for Fez. Woo! Commitment to the bit. Commitment to the bit, dude. I'm gonna symbolically yeah. bury his hat. Bury the hat. Because, yeah, Fez has endured now gambling on his eating habits. Yeah. He endured some very cruel Sea World jokes for me. Yeah. I'm not proud of him. Dude, some of the hotel staff, Fez, I didn't want to say this. Oh, yeah. They've been calling you Shamu. Uh, yeah, here we go again. Sure. Okay, let me have it. They've been calling you Shamu? Well, they were just like, um, we were going to send a maid up to room 927, but she didn't have a wetsuit and flippers. <laughs> <laughs> And then he also got, uh, you know, Tapatio dumped on him. We've got, you know, some ladies coming out on this trip. We've got a wide variety, all shapes and sizes. 
And I think we need to get one into a tent alone with Fez. Absolutely. I think that happened. He's earned it. Turned it. We've got our resident toy here. The resident graffiti toy here to tell us about some of the artwork. He f***ed up the ass, dude. What is that? That's not an ass. I know what he did, dude. So what percentage of these artists are better than you? About 95? 100? I'd say roughly 60. From the, from the fish god bit, 100. I progress, I progress. I thought you quit. You told me you quit. I progressed and then I quit, you know? <laughs> you gotta finish strong. I progressed and then I. You got so good, you were like. I was like, man. Tink. I'm just like she did with her porn career, and I'm, you know, I, I retired. Hey! <laughs> you you went out with a bang. Yeah. It's true. Who, who do you think created better art during their career? You or Holly Day, now Holly Barnes? I wouldn't consider that art. I, mean, I wouldn't consider art. what you do art. Oh, I got some art out there. I, at least, guys. I Mine is art. cinematic. Yours is People pass right? by it. People pass this by it. This is earlier today. Let's see this. Here, he's tagging up oh. the inside well, of I a shopping it, mall. I made it trash. That's not. That's not even a tag. It's just you know. It's vandalism, is what yeah, it is. It was uh. Holidays was getting vandalized, hey, but people on. orgasm you, you to you it, which means something. If you guys need another assistant, this guy's down. He's done some tagging. Uh, it's considered absolutely horrific. What's your tagging name? Uh, right, dust. Dust. D U S K. Dusk. Dusk. It's dusk right. He only comes out at dusk, Saltine. Nice. His, uh, his tagging name is T-O-Y. Toy. Toy. Yeah. yeah. He used to go by B-I-T-C-H back in the day, but now it's T-O-Y. Uh, you too, guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, your lines are clean, bro. <laughs> not that he would know, really. He would not know. <laughs> we think this is survival expert, Chad. But there are suspicions in the back that it's Rat Ralph. Oh God. Rat Ralph, as some of you might know, is probably our most notorious crew member. In our crew group chat before this trip, people were pretty much revolting, saying they would not come if RDR was there. But just to shake things up, Leo and I invited him. We soon learned that he had been raving for 72 straight hours without sleep, and we would soon dearly regret the invitation we extended. It's survival expert Chad. They thought it was Rat Ralph. Touches me again, he will be on the ground. Oh, I'm serious. Okay. He touches me again. You hear that? You better fucking watch out. Fez, you're gonna knock him out. He's gonna put his ass on the ground, Leo. You better study with Chad a little bit, black belt. Yeah. Well, it's it's rough here, man. So, than rat dick skin. The game plan is we're going to camp right here, but Chad, you're saying that it's so windy we can't even start a fire. No, it's, it's basically impossible with the amount of wind we have right now. What would it look like if we tried to assemble tents here? <sighs> they would just blow away like kites probably, with you in them. It almost ripped my door off. So here's another alternative, guys. We could urban camp in Barstow. I say you, you two get outside, go in front on the no, light right there, and have them film and just stand there and talk. All right, we're urban camping in Barstow. We are in downtown Barstow right now, and I guess it's gonna be a party night in one of the worst towns in America. I want to apologize to you man to man right now, because we have a nuclear missile on his way to Barstow. Mm. Hey, you don't even have to say more. Say no more. It might get ugly, and we might need men who know how to handle themselves. Mm -hmm. We heard you had a certain discount for people of a certain immigration status at this hotel. Is there any truth to that? Fez, you want to make your case? Uh, 
Ah, yo vengo de Nicaragua y soy inmigrante y no tengo dónde estar. estar. Me, me gustaría quedarme en este hotel, si no sé si pueden ayudarme. No, nosotros no hacemos eso. They don't do it. <laughs> Damn, dude, that was a really good... He has a better personality in Spanish. He has, he knows, he was being like <laughs> kind of... He was, you mean he's more professional in Spanish? <laughs> he was way more professional in Spanish. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Can I do an impression of how Fez would have been in English? Hey. <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, I have a, I have a Raichu card, and maybe I give and I stay at hotel for cheap. Fez, <laughs> you're gonna f a townie tonight. Oh yeah, you're, sorority. This is a sorority? this. A yeah, yeah, there are hot sororities in Barstow. Listen, uh, you're gonna have to settle a little bit tonight. You know what settling means? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life. Okay, a girl comes up to you and she goes... <laughs> like an elephant. <laughs> oh, you think that? She's a fat chick. Okay, God. <laughs> if she does, I don't mind. Do 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 <laughs> Maybe not that much. Daddy Molly is doing... Give me one, Austin. Give me one, give me one, give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Just, just Screw you guys. Yes. Why is it just me? When I saltine, something is supposed to I can't make it. Oh, saltine, it goes without saying. The thing is, saltine will just reject it and pretend he's better than. Yeah, he will. He will. It's but he's not. He's not better because no one is. That's the point of what we're. We're actually really kind of about body positivity. We found this on our hotel bed. This is a sign, an inignorable sign for Fez. This is the kind of animal you need to look for. I don't mind. That cute. Oh. I think looking for an elephant-like woman means you're looking for a really fat Indian or Chinese girl. Damn, that's about right. Because there, that's more elephants or African. She could be African. Could be African too. Yeah. No, no, not be here, bitches. What? I, I established just a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, I don't know, but I like the cadence. Survival expert Chad is also a black belt with his own school up in uh, Wrightwood, California. He is going to maybe teach Fez some lessons for how to, you know, stop somebody bullying you. When you're talking to people, I want you to put your hands like up and defend your face, man. My, my instructor taught, taught me th th this technique okay, to block. This right here is very aggressive. This is telling people you want to fight them. Go like this. Look at now you're communicating. Pull the arm across. Arm We're drag. Gonna arm drag to arm. Dave, sleep dude. that fool, bro. It might be good to to maybe, I don't know, have someone say things your enemy might say. Hey Fez, you're a fat ass dude. Rat Ralph. Rat Ralph. Fat ass. Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Boom. 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 Nice. Ralph. Nice. Like that. Yes. Uh, that's right, that's right. Anybody who does Aikido? Super easy. Like, yeah, he does. It's the their, their name is uh, Pussy Number One, Pussy Number Two, and Homo. <laughs> 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 you were out here oh. in Barstow? Fez, bro, Fez? I, I didn't see a cute little face. What's up, bro? What's up? No, 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 they're taking it outside, dude. Holy yeah. shit. Stop. I'm a dip out. Let's not be rash, dude. He's right. Leave that bitch. Did you just call your chick your bitch? Come on. Now you're being a misogynist. Where's my bitch at? Now you're assaulting men and you're being a misogynist. Y'all, your crew members. That's great. Cover up your f***ing Redick, what are you. I heard you haven't slept in like 72 hours. You don't need sleep anymore? The human animal needs sleep, man. You gotta recharge the battery. You are your you know, I what do you gotta get salty? Yeah. Yeah. NBA Mike, I brought you here. I'm getting so shit in with you when you're coming on God. the face, bro. Let's go box. Let's go. Let's go box. We're gonna get Cosway kicking your ass. Yeah, I can take you down right here, right now. 
Oh, yeah, Dude, fight him, bro. I, I want to fight you. Ass, I don't want to jail. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Hey. Sorry we can't show the brawl on YouTube, guys, but it would mean an auto demonetization for us. But the brawl is a can't miss. It's long, violent, and it's actually really competitive. And it's linked down below in our Patreon. That's it, that's it, that's it. Let's get out of here. You're gonna get this out. That's it, that's it. Nobody fing touches me. Bro. Dude, he got him a couple times off as. Rat dick, come on! Help you. Dude, a a case, bro. Uh, get, get with the cops. They call the cops. Let's get in. All right, let's go. Let's go back. Who won? It's crying. Who I mean, won? Fez. Fez won. He cracked him three times in the face, and I think we got it all on tape. I had Ratnik's arm. I was trying to get him down. Like, dude, he was hard to bring down. Yeah. So, guys, here's my thing. The only way this can be made right is a full verbal apology to Fez, and also RDR needs to offer up a token. Oh no, man. His woman. I don't want It's anything. a large token, no. some would say. Yeah, a, I don't want nothing. You could say it's like a silver dollar oh, sized yeah, token. It's a silver dollar sized token. Maybe an, an English pound. It's an English pound. <laughs> Listen, you became a man today. There's evidence of you fing up a guy yeah, on I, camera. I guess, I guess so. Let's go. We gotta go find this fing rat. Let's, and we need you calm because we need to do something really fun right now. Right, what we had in mind is yeah. you get in the rat cage and we let Jeff, you know, feel up Vivi. Yeah. That'd be a funny visual. Fez. Okay. And you gotta you apologize sincerely to Fez. Cause Fez is just like, just, um, you know, you, you came in hot, you know? You came in a little hot, dude, and he, he needs- He did more damage than that, dude, what the fuck? But you gotta talk to him from within the rat cage. With it for a little while. Cause that's, dude, you gotta be Hannibal Lecter in here, man. You're a wild man. Yeah. He's gotta be Hannibal Lecter, right? 100%. Yeah, the rat yeah. cage. Dude. Get in the cage, dude. You salty. You don't even matter, dude. Get in the cage, what? dude. Get in the cage, Rajik. Right, Get in the cage. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you being like this? You were supposed, you're supposed to be in the cage I just to apologize. You have to do this to f***ing make amends, dude. You gotta get in the cage. Well, there's no amends. It's the rat cage, bro. It's your cage. Get in the cage. Everybody, it's the great, the great RPP here. Hey, I'm not kidding, bro. I hope that your that your tone changes when you're in there. I feel like it's the humbling cage. Can you lock the door, please? It's his, it's his face, man. Right, I would like you to start by apologizing to Fez. Your heart's beating really fast, maybe you shouldn't take this. I'm a retarded piece of The only retarded I see is you in this situation, mother You're in the cage, I'm not. What was he so special for, dude? He's pulling his So it's all being gay, man. Get your dick with you, dude. You're the most pathetic. Piece of garbage <laughs> I ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna take my bitch? <laughs> hey, you think you're gonna take up with him? I'm saying you should live with him and I'll never see you again. Go, 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 go. I'm done with you, rapper. Don't say that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, you want an apology? Yeah, let's do an apology. And I don't think it's gonna be sincere. No, be sincere. It's sincere. They always do this to me. All right, do this. I, I just Let me doubt. Too, you bastard. This doesn't seem like we've been walking down the road of sincerity this Come whole on. time. Okay, okay sincere. Okay. Be sincere. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I am sorry for being overly aggressive towards you. I, I'm sorry for like just being a d sometimes. All I wanted was to be respect and be part of this community and be just a regular person only. I don't want to be touched inappropriately. It's a man. Nobody should ever feel like that. Period. I was bullying you. You're right. I thought it was okay to bully people. It's not. But it's not okay to bully people. It's never okay. People kill themselves. To the victim goes to spoil. Kiss me like you're from the Leon. Well, looks like things worked out all right for Fez. And it was a pretty good story, too. Made me laugh to beat the band. Like the video if you liked it, too. Hug. Hug. Yeah!